Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. And I wanted to show you how to remove the top of a book from the inside of the book so you can do so many crafts with it. <clears throat> so what you want to do is you want to find a book that has, that is not completely, I don't know if you could see that, but it's not completely sewn to the bind itself. And so let me go ahead and show you. Once you open this up, you're going to want to take um, either an X-Acto knife or a pair of um, sharp, thin scissors. And you're going to want to go in here and just cut very lightly right along this edge here as much as you can. And it's really easy. And then you're going to kind of pull it away. If you, And then as you pull it away, you'll see more little uh, netting. And you want to do the same thing there. And just make sure that you're not cutting all the way through. And you'll see that that kind of, when you pull it, you you just start pulling away as much as possible. Now this one does have some glue in there. So you're gonna want to um, go in and get that glue. Same thing, you just keep on going through. And so an X-Acto knife is gonna be the best thing to do because you don't want to muck up your scissors. But if that's all you have, then that's what you use. And you just keep on going through there. And you can use so many parts of the book for different DIYs. So you could also save the book to read. And you see now that that's coming apart there. You can make its own cover. There's just so much that you can do. I hope you can still see that. And you'll see it's just taken apart. Now we're going to bring that over. It's sticky. So we're gonna bring that over to the other side and we're gonna do the same exact thing. And you'll see I'm doing it kind of fast so you can see how easy that is. And then again, you just pull it with a little bit of gusto there, and you're going to cut along this side. And then now you've got that glue on this side that you're going to go through again. But I've seen so many DIY projects um, with the book covers, the book, oh, yeah, be careful, cut closer to this part of the book, because I did detach that, I think I did, I, I don't know, maybe it was done prior, and you could just pull it apart if you want to, but I would, I would suggest not, <laughs> but as you, as you do pull it, see that glue is still sticking in there. Make sure you're not going to cut your fingers as well on that back side. So, but that is how you do it. That sticky came right back to sticking again. So you have to be very careful when you're pulling that away. So I want you to be able to see what I'm doing here. That, that glue went right back again, even though I'd already gotten it. So be careful, because this is gonna be really sticky. I 
every time I stick it back. There we go. There we go. I'm just pulling it a little bit. And after this is... Oh. Did I... Okay. I wanted to make sure I didn't pull it too, too badly. Well, I'm pulling it apart from here. Which is okay, because I don't need that. I'll... There we go. So that is this piece pulled away. Which we're going to get rid of anyways, because we don't want all that stickiness. And now we've got this, which we could clean up and use um, for a DIY craft in a future project. But I'm going to be doing a DIY that I know of for sure. And probably later today or tomorrow so I'm just going to clean that up and that's how you do it so now you've got this spine I did um, rip it a little bit and that's what I thought I heard it ripping but we could easily put that right back together so alrighty I'm super excited to show you um, the DIY that I'm going to be doing with this. So make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe right here so you can see what I make with this. All right, beauties. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. Bye.